Hey guys, what's up? Shadow Style, another random video for you guys, and I'm gonna make this one a quickie. All right, so I did a video before saying like uh, I decided to like make more videos consistently, primarily because you know I wanted to prove the way I speak towards the camera, and I do daily artwork on my Instagram and Twitter. You know, I've noticed like the improvement that I made uh, by doing daily work, and like uh, I just got curious to see how I can improve if I was to make uh, more consistent videos on my YouTube channel. Right? To be honest, from when I start talking talking to start editing and rendering and uploading pretty much my main goal is to get a video done in under an hour right so if my videos look like they've been done in an hour then yeah but that's the kind of like the point i feel like if i can like um, do some really awesome good work within an hour then pretty much you know when i do an, uh, an actual video if they can take me up to eight hours then each hour of that video is, is very uh, productive or most importantly i want to learn how to edit a video faster and like uh, that's kind of like the point of this video is that uh, since i've been making more videos consistently i noticed that like there's certain things where i kind of like lag on and the main one is basically doing all like the, the rough cuts and the rough editing, right? Uh, there are moments where I do speak, where I mess up, you know, and trust me, I mess up a lot when I speak. Pretty much there are gaps where I pause and I think and, you know, I mess up. So I go back and I redo what I say, right? And like uh, just going back into like the footage and finding those audio gaps, then making cuts and whatnot. I realized, you know, I spent a lot of time trying to like make it more fluid, you know, from like me cutting out those gaps, the crossfade between the audio tracks so it can sound smooth and continuous, right? Right. I recently came across a solution, potentially, that I will make a tutorial on eventually. But the point that I'm trying to make with this video is that just with anything, daily practice, daily work and whatnot, if you're passionate about it, you'll find a way to improve on it, right? So I'm getting into like the rhythm of making a video. So I'm getting into rhythm to find ways to get it done faster, right? Because like when you don't understand something to begin with, in this case, say if you don't know anything about editing, it can seem like a drag to like get into like the rhythm of like learning how to use a software where you know because either too much shortcuts you have too much commands you don't know where to start you know you come across problems where like the software is not working correctly you know the audio doesn't sound good so you don't know what to do the video quality is not as great so you don't know how to color correct so it can be overwhelming because since you don't know what you're doing or you're not familiar with you know what to do when when you come across certain situations, you can freak out and, you know, you can throw your hands up and be like, you know, fuck it all, right? But <laughs> the thing is, no, um, I'm going through this right now, actually. And yeah, like I said, uh, I do make videos for other people, but for my personal development and for personal practice, I'm trying to like figure out ways to get videos done quickly you know and like one of the main things is simply just editing faster obviously right so also i'm making this video because i want to practice this method i was talking about like uh, how to like edit faster using like uh, this new technique that i discovered right so it's nothing groundbreaking but it's pretty simple and like uh like i said i felt the need to learn how to edit faster because i kind of at the point now where i realize if i spend more than a minute if i cannot create a macro just to get it done quick then like i feel like something is wrong and like, i'll take the time to figure out like what i can do to improve on it right just want to get to a point where i just, you know, press a few buttons and clicks and boom, get it done, right? Just, that's kind of like the level I want to get to, along with uh, being able to create good quality music, good quality, you know, displays or, you know, slides or whatever, right? Uh, I'm making certain exceptions with my video, right? Like I said, because I don't have like a lot of time to put into my videos, right? But... I do want to put in the time to like learn and improve on and also most importantly I want to share with you what I know that way you guys can uh, also improve with me so anyways that's all for this video so uh, yeah I definitely discovered something new that I'm going to share I just want to like put it more into practice to, uh, before I make a tutorial on it and then yeah get going get started start making something you know definitely feel influenced to you know create your own work you know build your PC you know start editing do what you want so good stuff thanks for watching take care and peace